South Africa's largest listed property group, Growth Point Properties, reported a 10% decrease in annual distributable income attributed to high interest rates. Furthermore, the company, which owns 511 properties across South Africa, Australia, the UK, Poland and Romania, saw a 4.8% revenue increase to 14.4 billion rand. Despite this, its distributable income per share fell by 141.9 South African cents from 157.6 cents, with a final dividend of 117.1 cents declared. Growth Point Properties CEO Norbert Sasser shares insights into the company's recent performance. The results for Growth Point Properties for the year to 30 June 2024 has been characterized by strong underlying operational performance across all of our investments, but in particular in South Africa. Unfortunately, high interest rates and the impact of high interest rates on our debt has resulted in a negative, overall negative performance of minus 10% on our distributable income number. We saw positive contribution from the VNA waterfront and the, our investment in capital and regional in the United Kingdom, but offset by negative performance from global worth Growth Point Investment Partners, our fund management business, the trading and development arm, and then the biggest negative component being the South African finance costs, which probably accounts for in the order of 70 to 80% of the total overall decline within the business. We are of the view that loan-to-value ratios have stabilized and that uh, interest rate cycle is about to turn. Equally, we feel that the property cycle has bottomed out and we look forward to an improved performance next year, albeit that we're still forecasting negative distribution growth of 2 to 5%. It is our view that our financial year 2026 will be better and we will be returning to growth in 